Welcome back, manifestors, and welcome to Manifest Your Dreams. I'm your host, Lexi Wilson, a speaker and manifestation teacher who loves to help women learn practical ways to turn their dreams into plans. If you feel called to change your life and create the outcomes that you want, then this is the show for you. So let's go ahead and get into today's episode. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Manifest Your Dreams. Today's episode is actually a download that I received. Last night, I was in almost like a trance, and I was just writing, and all of these words were coming through my mind, through my pen, and onto a piece of paper. I ended up writing over 22 pages of front and back. (laughs) It's a nice little friends reference for you there. Um, But 22 pages and 40 minutes of download, uh, not downloads, 40 minutes on a voice note (laughs) because the words were just pouring through me. It was pouring through me. And although I feel so like this message matches me so much. I needed it at this time. I also know that part of my purpose is to share the messages that I receive. So you can also find clarity and direction in this world. And so I want to talk about gratitude and why it's so important. Now, I want you to really focus because I'm going to say a lot of things that might appear confusing. So it's going to be important that you're really paying attention as much as you can. um, So you can stay with me on this journey. Okay. So what I wrote down uh, to get started here, because like I said, I'm not going to go through all 22 pages. Some of the messages were truly just for me, Uh, but (laughs) But I know that there's quite a bit in here for you guys as well. So what I wrote down was gratitude is the key to manifesting. Now, I know you and I have heard that multiple times all over the place. Everybody talks about it. But gratitude is important because if you have created anything in your life right now, maybe you're working a job that you prayed for. Maybe you have a car that you you desperately needed to to get. Maybe you have a love life that you are so proud of how you healed it and you built it and created it. Maybe you have a family that you're so deeply happy for because you prayed for this since you were a child yourself. Maybe you live in a location that you've always dreamed, you visualized, you fantasized about being in. If you've created anything in your life, then right now you are living in your manifestation. You are living in the answered prayer. And in order for you to truly appreciate the next thing that you're praying for, you will have to be grateful for what you've already received from your prior, your previous, your past prayers. Because right now you are living in the prayer, the answered prayer, that job that right now you really want to leave. I get it, sis. But it's also the answer to your prayer at the time that you needed it, whether it was for the money, whether it was for the uh, experience, whether it was for the networking, the opportunities and connections, it arrived at your doorstep and you were able to take it. You were able to experience it and get what you needed from this job that now you have realized, okay, now it's time for me to transition and evolve, evolve into the next thing. But in order for me to appreciate that next thing, I have to already be in the energy of appreciation of what I already have. Because if you don't, you'll feel like you've never arrived. If you never appreciate where you are now, 
you'll feel like you've never arrived because the truth is the future never exists. The future never exists. The only thing that exists is this moment that you are in right now. This exact present is the only thing that you can really contribute to, really experience. So if you keep putting it off to the future for when you'll feel feel happy, when you finally get that thing that you want, when you finally do this, if it's always dependent on the future before you feel gratitude, since the future doesn't exist, You'll never truly feel the embodiment of gratitude, which means you'll never feel like you've arrived even when you have. So you have to know that right now in this moment with the confusion, with the sense of lostness, with the pride, with the ups, with the downs, right now, you have arrived in your manifestation. You already have what you've prayed for. And by having that energy, you'll have that energy when the other thing that you've prayed for, the next thing that you've prayed for, the next level, the next evolution arrives, you'll have that energy then. You'll have it for the next thing. You'll have it for the next thing. And the next thing after that, and the next thing after that, you see where it's going here? You'll always feel like you have arrived in your manifestation if you embody being in your manifestation right now, which is gratitude. Gratitude grounds you into the present moment, which is the only thing that you can truly contribute to and create is right now. This is creating. This is manifesting. Look at it like a circle. So envision a circle. At the beginning of the circle, see the words here. And then as the circle goes around and comes back to the beginning of the circle, at that end of the circle, see the word there. You have to envision that you are there, that place that you want to be, that manifestation that you want to have by seeing that you are already here. Do you, do you see what I mean? I told you this is a little deep. <laughs> okay. You have to envision that you are there in your manifestation by seeing that you are already here in your manifestation, by seeing that you are here, by noticing that you have created what you've wanted already, you are now embodying the energy of the person who's manifested the thing, the next thing that you desire. Because if you go about this without being grateful for where you are, when you arrive at the next thing, you will not feel like you've arrived. You will still feel like there's something else that you've got to get. There's more money that I have to make. There's a bigger house that I have to find. There's deeper love that I must have. You'll always feel like the grass is greener somewhere else because you never embodied the energy of appreciating your side of the grass. You have to appreciate where you are now. Same thing when we're talking about weight loss, when we're talking about releasing weight. If you try to hate yourself, into weight loss. I'm not saying that you won't experience any weight loss because you might, but it might not stay. It might not. And when it, and let's say that it does stay, let's say that it does stay. The energy that you really desire is confidence, is high energy, is self-love, is feeling worthy. So even when you finally get to that quote unquote, go wait, because you've never embodied the energy of self-confidence, of self-love, of self-worth, even when you finally get to the number that you think will bring those energies to you, 
you won't feel it. You won't feel like you have arrived. You'll look for another goal because you actually haven't achieved the real goal, which was feeling worthy, which you were always worthy, whether you were that weight or this weight. It's a transformation in the belief. This is why I'm so passionate about talking about limiting beliefs because your beliefs dictate everything for you. No one can change your belief if you don't let them change it. When you know what what you believe and you know who you are, even when someone tells you that you are not worthy, that you are not lovable, that you are not wanted, that you are not desirable, you will never believe it because you know it's not true. Your belief dictates everything. So you have to embody the version of you that believes that you'll have the thing that you'll have once you manifest that thing. When you have all that money, what is the belief that you're going to have when you have that money? When you finally manifested that love, what is the belief that you're going to have when you manifested that love? You have to create that belief now. Those are your affirmations. Those are the things that you're going to start telling yourself now. That's the way you're going to walk, the way you're going to hold your head up high now. Because by being in that energy now, when it arrives, you will feel it. You will feel like you have arrived because there doesn't really exist. All that exists is right now. Now exists. So create in the now. Choose to be here in the now. Embody the version of yourself that already has everything you desire. Know that it is realistic, that it is powerful because you are living proof that you can create. The things that you've already brought into your life, no matter how big, no matter how small, no matter how long it stayed, you are living proof that you create. You create your beliefs, you create your feelings, you create your experiences, you create the the things that you desire, you make it happen. And just knowing that can give you the confidence to finally recognize that you have arrived already. And when you recognize that you've arrived already, that is when the manifestation truly sets in. I know this was a lot. So I look forward to hearing from you guys. Follow me over on TikTok or on Instagram at the Lexi Wilson. All the links will be in the description. And I would love to hear what you what you think about this because this is such a freeing moment for myself and so healing. Um for myself. So powerful. I feel like I'm on the verge of tears because it frees you from the concept of time. It lets you be in the moment that you're in and, and it allows you to see how great and powerful you really are right now, how beautiful you are in this moment. Um, that the person that you want to become is who you are right now. Um, And when you know that about yourself, it changes everything. You show up differently because you recognize you're already the woman that's confident, that's rich, that's in love, that is loved. You're already that person. And then when you make decisions from that place, from a sense of knowing that you're already that person, it's just powerful. So I would love to hear your thoughts. Please tell me any questions you may have. Tell me what you think about this as well. Did this blow your mind the way that it did mine when it came to me last night? I would love to know. So again, all the links for Instagram and TikTok will be down below. Be sure to visit thelexiwilson.com. 
for more courses on intentionally manifesting, intentionally creating the things that you want in your life. Um, and I'm, I'm also working now on a course of releasing yourself from those beliefs that are holding you back, preventing you from creating the things that you want. Because everything really starts there, it really starts there. I'm so grateful for you and I'm grateful that you're listening. So thank you so much. Please share this with a friend if it was really enlightening and I'll see you all next week. Bye.